Well, it's, an, it's time again for Porsche night at Ace Cafe. And we're gonna kick it off tonight and have some fun with someone that I just met yesterday. And, you know, he was sort of cruising around Porsche South Orlando, flying a low profile. And, uh, and we started conversation and he has this awesome car that's uh, behind us here, a nice Porsche GT4. And Michael Schultz is gonna join us here and we're gonna get in some conversation about, you know, his Porsche passion and then everything that's uh, been cool to him about Porsche in his life. And we'll talk about a few other things as well. But, you know, we're out here on the uh, third Monday of every month for Porsche night. So I wanna encourage everybody to come out, join in the fun, bring your Porsche out, uh, have a blast. There's all kinds of cool people here. We got great fun inside at the bar and with food and whatnot. So come on out and, uh, and see us next month and uh, have a blast with us. So tonight, I, as I mentioned, Michael Schultz is with us with his GT4, so welcome to the show, Michael. We really appreciate you saying yes and, and coming on with us tonight. I know you're probably saying, what the heck am I doing here? What's the deal? <laughs> but uh, you know, we just wanna say uh, thanks for coming out. And um, so tell us a little bit about where this whole Porsche thing started for you. What, what was the very first thing that appeared in your life that was Porsche? Uh, well, first off, thanks for having me, Brian. Uh, I appreci appreciate the invite. A little short notice, but. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Uh, Porsche for me, um, They've always been on my radar, but uh, you know they're a pretty special car, right? So it wasn't something that I ever imagined myself having. It was just you know the poster on the wall, growing up, that kind of thing. Um, but uh, I come from a, a motorsports background. I used to race motorcycles, so I kind of did things backwards. You know, every kid, every 16-year-old kid gets their first car. Uh, for me, it was the first bike. You know, so okay. I kind of did it backwards. I went from motorcycles then into cars later in life. And uh, actually, my grandfather had this beautiful 991.1 uh, uh, GTS uh, and ma mahogany metallic paint matched wheels. I mean, this thing was super old man spec, you know, like peanut butter interior and everything. But I, I fell in love with it. Wish you never got rid of it. I mean, last of the NA, you know, 911s. I mean, that thing. Not I, now, you said it was your grandfather. Grandfather. Okay, all right. I'm just making sure I'm yeah. I'm, I'm okay here. I'm I'm a. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would have. When you said old man spec, you know, I'm yeah. like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, so. I mean, it wouldn't have been how I would have <laughs> spec'd it. You know, my, it needs to have Alcantara everywhere if it's if some I'm gonna have. But uh, it was beautiful, and I had a chance to drive it. You know, I actually I drove it as much as I could, as you could imagine. But uh, after driving that car, I, I quickly realized what what a Porsche was. You know, because I've I've driven. You know, I've had some cool cars, but. Uh, nothing is quite like driving a Porsche and to me that's what it's all about I mean it's it's the driving experience and and you know every time you get in it I'm gonna hold you for one second this happens every time we're on the show this yeah. train is like clockwork it comes by it lets us know yeah. they're here pretty short one though it'll just come through and clear out I think it's every 10 15 minutes <laughs> <laughs> so, hey this is live this is live this is what happens so I'm sorry so so let's, let's carry on. So you yeah. said Porsche, really when you drove your first Porsche, it sort of, it got into yeah. you, right? That, that, that was really where it all started. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously a, a ton of very cool cars out there, um, but ultimately there's nothing like driving a Porsche. It's the ultimate driver's car, right? And to me, that's always been the most important, whether it's been my personal cars or riding motorcycles. I do it because of the experience and you know that feeling that you get when you connect with, with it. And uh, to me, the, a Porsche is it's the pinnacle of that, you know what I mean? And especially the GT4, um, which I'm sure we'll get into. I hope we have plenty of time. We'll yeah. be here all night yeah, if, you yeah. if you let me keep talking. Yeah, yeah. No, we can. And, you know, it, it, uh, for me, it you know, started as a, as a kid for me. And it sort of, you know, we all have those stories. Uh, and it seems to start with, you know, someone in your life. Um, you know, introducing. I, I hear a lot of these stories where it was, you know, a dad or grandfather or, or just really a good friend or a neighbor or, or you saw this Porsche drive down the street as a kid and you just sort of, it captivated you and, you, and maybe you rode your bike to follow where the, where the car went just to, just to get a closer look at it. So all these stories are, are, are similar, you know. Um, so it's always exciting uh, to learn, you know, what did it for you. Uh, and when you talk about experience, that is really what it's all about. There's that old, the, the old tagline, you know, Porsche, there's no substitute. You know, what does that really mean? When you, and you try to explain that to someone who's never ridden in one or never wanted to experience that, and it is kind of hard. Uh, but as soon as they get behind the wheel, um, you know, it's all over, right? 
Yeah, it must make your job pretty easy. As soon as you get someone out in a test drive, it's, you know, done deal. I mean, it's similar to us. You know, I'm, I'm in the sales business as well. And uh, same thing. I mean, as soon as they, you know, I sell bikes. So as soon as they ride what we sell, it's, you know, makes our job very easy. Because, I mean, if you're if you're selling the best that there is, I mean, it's just a matter of educating the customer on it and, and finding what they want. But, um, yeah, you let someone drive any of these things and it's game over, you know, so. Well, so t talk a little bit about the motorcycle stuff. So you rode as a kid. Uh, did you race competitively? Uh, did you race professionally? What? Tell us about that. Yeah. Um, so motorcycle racing's strange. Uh, so I'm sure you're familiar with like club level racing versus pro level racing. Um, I did a few wild card uh, pro rounds with the AMA. You know, I lived in Florida my whole life, so anytime I went to Homestead or Road Atlanta, which was close enough, I'd do that. But primarily it was club level stuff. Um, but the funny thing about road racing and, and motorcycles here is at the club level is really where you can sustain it and support yourself. The national level, you're basically, as you know, racing just, you're throwing money away, you're burning it. Um, uh, but in club level racing, you can actually sustain yourself. So I had the opportunity to race for full time, a living for uh, a privateer team down in South Florida. Did that for about five years. Um, and, you know, had to get a real job <laughs> at some point. So then I moved over to uh, where I'm at now. Uh, I work for Eurocycles of Central Florida. Um, we sell European motorcycles, so whether it's Ducati, BMW, uh, Aprilia, Triumph, you know, if it's European it, and it's exotic with two wheels, we, we sell it. So I, I wanted to stay in the industry. I, I'm very passionate about not only cars, but also motorcycles, as you could imagine, and, and just motorsports in general. I mean, if it has a motor, I'm very interested in it. Um, so that's, that's kind of where I came from. And like I said, I, I got into the car thing pretty, I'm 30, so I guess I can't say too late in life, but I wasn't that 16 year old car guy. Yeah. Um, now that 30 year old car kid, I guess <laughs> I, I'm trying to catch up, but, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I own my dream car and well, uh, the, there's nothing better than that. And I know, uh, Michael and I just met yesterday, you, you know, he, he came into Porsche South Orlando and he was, as I said, just flying a low profile and, and checking things out. And, and when we started to have conversation, uh, it was amazing. You know, we, we started to talk a little bit and then you told me about the motorcycle thing and I started talking about Ace Cafe and you, you know, you guys have a, you guys have a shop or a, a merchandise shop right here inside Ace Cafe, right? Yeah. So it's, it's like you said, primarily merchandise slash retail place. Uh, we do have bikes on display there. Um, so we try to keep it pretty well stocked on the cool stuff, which is the bikes. Um, but you can buy riding gear, accessories, apparel. Um, it, it's more of a boutique, so it's more high-end stuff, but we're trying to flesh it out with some more, you know, reasonable price stuff, because some of that in there right now is super high-end stuff. But we're, we're still figuring out our inventory over there. But if you just, I mean, Ace is, you know, it's the center of motorsports in Orlando right now. I think what they're doing is, is very cool, whether it's cars or bikes. There's always an event going on every night. Um, I live right down the street, so it's very convenient for me. It's awesome to come down here and just see cool stuff like what's around us right now. But, yeah, we, we have a store there. Uh, we're about to open up a store in St. Pete. We have one already open in Tampa, here in Orlando, Daytona Beach. Um, so, you know, Central Florida, we kind of we kind of got Central Florida, which is nice. But. Yeah, you got it covered. So, that, you know, what a great thing. What a great transition from you to go from, you know, riding and, having you know such an awesome time doing that and and uh you know fulfilling some probably childhood dreams of you know being a motorcycle racer right yeah. and uh, and then you're able to sort of parlay that into what you're doing now kind of uh, similar paths that we've taken uh, you know I've, i spent a lot of time in another industry before coming into porsche here just yeah. recently uh, but the porsche has always been in my blood you know since the 70s so uh, that that's a lot of fun all right so let's talk a little bit about the car